My name is LeVar Monroe. I'm an artist in Area 919. I was never in prison, but I know of a lot of people who have been in prison. I've always had an interest for that space. I did a lot of research on it. So I'm sourcing from documentaries, I'm sourcing from readings, both about the prison, but also about notions of survival, notions of heroism, the hero, what the hero means. I was interested in making these pink objects that were in many ways phallic and in many ways spoke about the homoerotic space within the prison. For me, the prison became the epitome of the hero's journey. And in that sense, I began thinking and researching writings of Joseph Campbell, who was an anthropologist. One instance of that journey was the belly of the beast. And for me, the prison became that place. And with those drawings, I was also interested in the idea of the celebratory nature of the after prison experience. And with that, I was thinking about in many poor class societies or areas, many people who go through the prison tenure, when they come out, they are celebrated. All of these drawings come from objects. So the first thing that is made is the actual shank. And the shank for me serves nearly like a still life. And I would draw from that. But while I draw from that, I would also make it nearly educational. So a lot of the writings kind of tell you how these objects are made. And another element of the writing is a narrative element. Like it kind of speaks about the menacing ability of such an object. So there's a lot of horror text juxtaposed with humor. I'm using my daughter's band-aids. I'm using her stickers. I'm using staples. I'm using thread and needles. They are all very playful and you wouldn't think about it as nothing bigger than that. I'm sewing. I'm thinking about the stitch. When, when somebody is stabbed, they're stitched together. I'm thinking about the staples. It's a really bad, really, really bad injury, so we have to staple it together. I'm thinking about that. I'm cutting the paper, so I'm thinking about the cut of the blade. 